know the bless, I know the check, bless, bless your check in the in the beyond. I know the bless, I know the check, bless your check in the bad, bless your check in the bad. I know the bless, I know the check, bless. Hey there guys, Jimmy from Glassy Gaming here, bringing you a new TF2 video. Now if you may remember, I made a video discussing Banny, Froyotech, and the ultimate disbanding of Froyotech. Now, as I'm sure you all were aware, it was a very sad moment for, you know, competitive TF2, but like I said, Banny wasn't done, and he's definitely not done. It's been revealed that Banny has already started assembling a new team, a new roster, they are going to be going by Froyo Tech. They're going to try and live up to the legacy that the team set previously. So far, it's got the remnants of Strawberry Mangoes, which is a team that disbanded a little bit after being knocked out of the playoffs by Meat Market. They, uh, it consists of Corsa and Free State, who are the scout pair. Corsa being the more passive scout and Free State being the more aggressive scout. As well as, I believe his name is Mama or Muma, who is a rising Demo Man star apparently. I don't really know too much about these players. I'm assuming that you all know because most of you follow competitive TF2 much better than I do. I'm just an idiot that knows about like a couple pro players. I'm not, you know, a god. I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying. I am. But again, Corsa, Free State, and Muma all coming from Strawberry Mangoes, as well as Patty who played on Hawaii 5 will be joining them as Roamer. Now, they haven't really decided on a medic yet, but from what I understand, this is basically like Froyo Tech Incarnate, you know? A, a bunch of star-studded, you know, players, very well known, you know, in the invite community, and they're all kind of coming together with Banny as their leader. Again, we don't know who the medic is yet, and that's kind of an important part. A good medic is very, very, very important in TF2, in comp, and we'll have to see where they go with that. There's no word on whether or not maybe Shade will come back as their medic. I kind of doubt he will, because from what I understand, he's pretty much done with TF2. But uh, it's it's nice to see that Banny's already started to, you know, assemble a team. He's not really, as far as I know, he's not really, you know, like, hurting anyone by taking these players. Like, he's not, you know, sniping players away from, like, Ascent or anyone else like that. Instead, he's taking players from teams that are disbanded, teams that, you know, aren't using these, these players. And it makes more sense that way. It's a lot nicer that way. It's a lot cleaner that way. Again, we don't know who his medic is. Maybe he'll have to, you know, like, scavenge for a medic. I don't really know of any, you know, good medics right now, but that's because, again, I am not that, you know fluent in competitive TF2, so maybe there's a bunch of, you know, really good competitive, uh, you know, North American medics that I don't know about that are, you know, just waiting to be picked up by Banny. But we'll see what happens. Again, I'm very, very excited to see what happens with this team, with Foyotech version 2.0. It's going to be very exciting. In other news related to Banny, he has, in fact, been given a competitive matchmaking beta pass, and I believe played on a competitive matchmaking beta server with devs. I don't know if he did it during stream. I know he got the pass during a stream, but I'm pretty sure he did like the actual like game, like outside of stream, because they probably didn't want him like, you know, showing it to people. But it's very, very interesting to see this happen. And it looks very promising. It could mean that we could see competitive, you know, mode either released at the end of the year or a little bit after the end of the year. I know that they said they're, they're kind of planning on a uh, 2016 release, an early 2016 release. So hopefully we'll see it sooner rather than later because we do need to see it soon. I will say that, you know, as much as I love Valve and I love TF2, we need matchmaking. We need matchmaking really, really bad. So I'm, I'm happy that, you know, Banny's getting to try it out because he, he's a, definitely a good player to test it out on. But we need it faster. We need it. We need it now as soon as you possibly can, Gaben. We need it, okay? But anyways, that's all I can really talk about for competitive news. Thank you all for watching and listening, as always. Looking forward to Furio Tech version 2. GG. Peace the fuck out.